This is raised magnet on off switch. The objective is to see if it is possible to turn a permanent magnet field on and off like a switch. Directly you cannot. I'll illustrate this. I have a bar of metal and I have a small neo. Let's say this is north facing. It doesn't really matter north or south. I have a this is set on pounds I believe. So when you have the magnet and the iron together they're attracted you're going to have a force if that shows up for you. So the force putting it together pulling and pulling apart are the same. The ratio would be one to one. By using induction fields and the neutral zones it is possible to have a switch on and off. I'll explain the induction field first. We have our little magnet again. We're bringing our bar up to it. Let's say it does not touch. So the field, if this is north, and the iron bar coming together, by induction, this metal bar will take on the same as the north. So this is what's called magnetic fields by induction. To explain the neutral zones, I have another magnet, <laughs> very powerful. <laughs> and if you have a piece of iron, you can see that the north, south, south, north are very, very powerful. And if you try to bring it into the center, it is very quickly pulled to one side or the other. But if you're able to bring it into the center, then those forces are canceled. And the net result is basically zero. So I can bring that in and out with very, very little or any force at all. But if you get off the side. So that's called my neutral zone. So using these two principles, I was able to effectively make a magnetic on and off switch. Okay, show you what I have. I'm going to place this in the uh, on position. I have a metal collar. It's a half inch by one inch metal collar. I filled in the middle with an iron bar so it have more magnetic pull. And you can see my ring. I have the magnet centered. The ring is two and one quarter inch inside diameter. Two and a half would be just fine. If you get it too small then it's too hard to get the metal or the magnet centered and stay centered. Okay, This is out of an old bicycle uh, 10 speed out of the rings on the back end of it. Uh, if, even if you use like a big heavy wire it'd be okay. Uh, this is flat. Makes a little bit nicer uh, contact down here. But uh, let's see what happens. We're going to now bring it in to the neutral zone. Yeah. The you can see them just about in the middle. This is just on a 
wooden dowel rod. Okay. I'll go ahead and put it back over here. Pretty good spot. Okay. We'll go ahead and I'm going to come back and we'll do some testing also. Okay. I have it on the on position and I'm trying to get a close up reading of this. Uh, it doesn't turn out on the camera very well. So I'm going to come up close as I can and uh, see if that'll help some. So my little tester, I have it on pounds. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'll put this up. One pound twenty, one pound. If I stop moving then it goes on the whole position. I'm gonna have to start it over. I'll keep her going this time if I can. Okay. 130, 150, 160, 170. Uh, 1.7 pounds. I'm going to adjust the top a little bit. See if that'll help just a little bit. I've had it up over 2 pounds before. One forty, one fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, two pounds. There we go. Oh, I forgot to set it. <laughs> okay. Here we go again. Okay. One forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, two. Okay. We were over two pounds there. So now we're going to uh, see how much course it takes to turn it on and off here. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, we're going to go ahead and test for how much it takes to turn the switch off. So right now we're in the on position. So uh, we're going to go to the position where it's turned off and the metal weight falls off in the off position. Okay, I have it set on pounds again. I hope this shows up. Let's see. So if I take it, usually it's just basically the friction uh, that's uh, weighed. But, uh, it's, okay. 8.08 .08. Point oh nine. Point oh eight. Point oh nine. I'll say, how about let's say, point one ounce. So we have our point one ounce. Or point one ounce. I'm sorry, pound. This is uh, from on to off. We had two pounds when it's on, when it's on, the force required to pull it apart was two pounds. If we divide point one into two, uh, we get 20. Somewhere, uh, the ratio of 20 to the one. So the ratio is 20 to one. I've had it 30 to 1, but uh, you've got to kind of work at it. So if you're using the conventional method, which 
uh, has the magnet and iron pulling apart, that would be a 20 to 20 ratio or 1 to 1 ratio. So you can see there is a gain here. Turning the switch on or off requires much less the pull off the in out ratio shows gain. So this is my magnetic switch on and off. I'll show it to you again here. I would think if you had the parts you could make this in an afternoon pretty fast. It's just really simple. And we bring it in. And now we have the switch on. And we bring our into the neutral zone with very little effort required to turn the switch off. So uh, I try to find the most odd and amazing finds. I've never seen this done before. I'm not aware of it anyhow. So I like to get these very strange things that happen. So I can document them and share them with you. I like doing that. So uh, hopefully you can enjoy this and uh, maybe make a better one. Maybe use it for different things. Thank you very much.